we continue walking through Lent using illustrations and reflections from the Benedictine sisters of Turvey Abbey and short passages from the Bible. These illustrations are inspired by Jesus's journey to the cross and I hope that they are helping you as we journey through Lent. We continue to reflect on a new picture each Tuesday and Thursday between Ash Wednesday and Easter Sunday. And today we have our fifth illustration, Simon of Cyrene. Just as the good thief was given to understand the secret of the kingdom of Jesus, why should not Simon of Cyrene have been given a glimpse of the kingdom, piercing through his annoyance at having to carry a criminal's cross by the very act of doing so? Let's just take a moment to pause and look at the picture. Jesus' head is inclined towards Simon's and Simon seems to be listening. There seems to be communication. Maybe Jesus is revealing to him the secret of the kingdom, the universal call of the human race to carry each other's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Words from Galatians. And we see this in the background, the many figures in the picture. Words from Matthew's Gospel. In so far as you did it to the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. Simon helps Jesus unwillingly carry the cross, but nevertheless, he does help. Do we allow others to help us in times of great difficulty? By such an action, we evoke the Christian virtues of mercy and compassion. Do we go out of our way to help others in times of need? Lord, help us extend our help willingly to our brothers and sisters when their burdens have become too heavy to carry. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. <laughs>